Fatty Boom Bilati here with a perfume haul. It's really small and I want to do a quick review too um, out of what I purchased. Um, most of this comes from Amazon.com and then a couple of things from eBay. And these two came from Amazon.com and there are two more from the Crown Perfumery as I've mentioned in other videos. Um, this perfumery is now defunct. They were purchased by uh, Clive Christian and he now uses the bottle design and he closed up the company. So get these while you can. Everything I've tried so far, which are, I'm up to three now, um, has smelled really good if not interesting. <laughs> so uh, this is Matsukita. I don't know if this is focusing well, but um, it's a nice fresh green floral that dries down to a nice soft jasmine. It's really pretty, very pretty ladylike, and I like it. Good for spring. Then uh, this is Crown Court Bouquet, and it is, um, this is one that's um, unusual. I may have to actually review this. It opens up with a nice floral bouquet. I'm sorry about my dog in the background. He's a little bit of a barky dog. Um, then you start to smell like roots, leaves, moist soil. Um, it's a, it it kind of reminds me of like early spring where it's still kind of chilly and maybe you're planting flowers. So you smell flowers and everything else. Dirt, rocks, roots. It's really, it's really kind of neat. I'll have to, I'll have to review that. Then one of these is from Amazon also and one of, two of them rather, are from eBay and I bought some more De Si De La and I bought I think this is the one from Amazon one of them's kind of beat up looking but this is not eau de, eau de parfum it's parfum so it's not quite as strong as an egg straight but it's really strong it's a it's stronger than eau de parfum as far as I know and as far as I can smell too, it's whew, it's good. It's it's long lasting. Then these two, I bought one from one seller, one from another, and I thought, now this one is what I thought it was, and it was like eighteen dollars after I paid like thirty for this. What? I feel ripped off, but I am glad to have it. And all of these were way cheaper than finding the one ounce parfum they were all over a hundred dollars so hey this is a lot cheaper and I thought I'll get three of these and it'll be one ounce or a little more and I'll put them in an atomizer but at any rate this one was 18 and this one was only 12 however I'm not sure what strength it is because um, it I don't know if this is eau de parfum because it does smell a bit deeper um, I've shown this on another haul and it it's also a different colored bottle this is eau de toilette so what the heck is this and um, it, they don't seem to be colored in you know uh, whatever by strength or whatever or are they I don't know <laughs> the, the eau de parfum or rather the parfum that I was mentioning that cost a hundred dollars excuse me was in the same color bottle so I have no idea what strength this is I'm it doesn't say I'm getting goofy I'm sorry blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I don't want to do this video over either and then finally I got this also from Amazon I don't think this is focusing. I can kind of see it. But it's called uh, Poppy Moraney. I love the box, like a hat box. With the little, I'm gonna have to use this. Maybe for makeup brushes or something. And it's kind of got a heavy top. There's some cute red tissue in there. And 
I guess this is a pin cushion because there is a needle with ribbon like thread and this is the 1.7 ounce now back in the 90s uh, like 98 I guess a friend and I not friend of mine and I were in Sephora and I was new to Sephora back then and we were smelling all these perfumes and I stumbled upon this never heard of Poppy Morani. I still don't know what he or she does. Maybe makes hats. I didn't bother to research it, but anyway, I bought the big vat, the big 3.3 ounce, and I loved it. And I had it for years. I mean, I only just recently threw it away because the juice turned all brown, and when I sprayed it, it didn't quite smell right so it had oxidized but I had it for like what I don't know over 10 years closer to 15 years so it just had a little bit in it anyway because by the time I had started running out it was gone people do this to me I like perfumes that don't sell well evidently because they just go bust anyway I sprayed some on and it's changed already. It's sort of dried down now, but the opening is slightly floral. Um, it's supposed to be geranium, but I'm not quite sure that's what I smell. It's just a general sense of flowers and then a slight bit of something citrusy. And then it almost immediately dries down into like vanilla toast like toast <laughs> and coffee with cream and sugar and it just and uh, there's some toffee maybe caramel it's sm i mean it sounds like it's edible or gourmand but it isn't exactly unless you make some toast and coffee and then someone sprays <laughs> perfume into your coffee and on your toast so there's enough of that floral still going on I am so sorry about my dog <laughs> that it doesn't quite taste taste it doesn't quite smell edible or gourmand and I'm gonna cut it off because I think I've pretty much conveyed what this smells like and my dog won't shut up but, and I'm getting tongue-tied and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> sorry for being so silly, but um, this is a good buy, too, even though it's defunct. Um, I got this for $25, and it smells really nice. I really like it, so maybe you can find some online and pick it up. But thanks for watching. Bye.